Hi guys, this is Mayo, and today I will be filming a very, very, very special video. Because first, I will be speaking in English, which I don't usually do on my channels. And secondly, I'll be doing a full face just using Fenty Beauty products. Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. If you want to know the way how I use my Fenty Beauty products, then please keep on watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do because I upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday at 9 o'clock. And let's get it started. <laughs> Because I have a very, very dry lips, so the first thing I'm going to do is to get my lips ready. The first, I'll be using this Pro Kisser Lip Scrub on my lips. And this is 129 Hong Kong dollars. And I'm telling you, this lip scrub, it's really, really good. The reason for it is there is a lot of lip scrub, exfoliating type of products, but this, I would describe it as mess-free. Because when you do it on your lips, it doesn't go all over your face. It just stays there and it's not super like sticky and it feels really greasy and gross. This actually feels like really fresh and at the same time it's very very conditioning. Because I'm sure if you have experience with a lip scrub product, sometimes it gets really rough. But you can see like after I apply the product like 20 times, it doesn't get messy around my lips. And also it scrubs all the lipsticks that I've worn for the past few days, which it's like a deep clean. And then I usually just wipe it off with tissues. And then my lips are reborn. And then I'll be using the Pro Kisser Lip Balm, which looks like this. Pump it out, and there's a wand, just to keep my lips hydrated. If you're on a budget and thinking of which product you should get, I'll be extremely recommended you getting the lip scrub, because it's really, really unique and very special. And the next will be a very hydrating primer, which is the Profuter Soft Silk, which is $268 on Sephora. I still remembering around two years ago when uh, Fenty Beauty first launched it. I was in London for Fashion Week, and then I remember passing by Harvey Nichols, and then I saw there was a long, long, long queue. A lot of people were queuing for it, and I was really curious, wondering what's happening in Harvey Nichols. Why there are so many people queuing, right? And then I found out it was the launch of Fenty Beauty, and I was like, <gasps> Oh my god, I have to check it out. I have really, really have to check it out. And then I remember getting in, like looking at all the 40 shades of the foundations. I was shook. That's hell a lot of foundation shades. I've never seen that in my life, ever. And then the receipts was like so long, like, like so long, like, like long, 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 long. That was my first experience with Fenty Beauty. Seriously. Oh, this is the Fenty Beauty foundation that um, I first brought. When it first launched, there were 40 shades and now there are like 50 shades. When I first tried the product, I really, really loved it. And then after a few times I use it, I have a few advice for you guys. First is the foundation does oxidize. What does oxidize means is when you apply it to your skin, when the foundation dries down, it gets a little darker. If you're looking for a matte finish, powder finish foundation, this is best for you. So this foundation has one of the best coverage. It's like a full coverage foundation. Also, it gives you a very powder finish. Like you don't even have to apply powder after you use this foundation. But on my normal day, I don't usually put on a full face, full coverage foundation on. And then I was really happy when recently Fenty Beauty launched their hydrating foundation, which is a little bit more sheer than the full coverage matte foundation. And both of these foundations are 200 and 98 Hong Kong dollars in Sephora. And the reason why I love this so much is because it's not just really, really hydrating. It also has a really dewy finish, which I love. I'm gonna show you. I usually apply foundations on my beauty blender, but today is a very special day. It's a Fenty day, so everything I'm using will be Fenty. So this is the foundation brush. It's 328 Hong Kong dollars in Sephora. Look, can you see? I mean, can you see the dewiness? It's really like natural looking. It makes my skin look like skin. It doesn't look like foundation. I'm just doing this from my heart because I have been a huge, huge, huge fan of Rihanna. I've been to the Good Girl Gone Bad tour in London. 
I have been to the Lao tour in London as well. I've been to the Diamonds uh, World Tour in Macau. And then I've been to the NT World Tour in uh, Manchester. Manchester, Manchester, Manchester. And watching one of my favorite entertainers performing on stage, I would have never thought that like two years later, she would become such a successful businesswoman which I really, 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 really admire. And I have so, so, so much to learn from her. Ta-da! Done. Foundation, done. If you have a normal to dry skin, I would recommend you using this hydrating foundation. If you have a normal to combination skin, I would recommend you using this foundation. The next, I'll be using the Pro Filter Concealer, which also comes in 50 shades. So this concealer is $228, Hong Kong dollars, not US dollars, don't worry. When I apply my concealer, I like to use this Fenty Beauty sponge as well. I'm gonna tell you the secret of why this sponge is really, really good. When you use the sponge, remember always wet it. Don't just use a dry sponge, remember always get it wet. Put in some water and then What's so good about this sponge, you see this edge? It's perfectly fitted for your under eye, which is amazing for blending. When other sponge has a, like a pointy edge, you use the pointy edge to do the eye, but I find this even more easier to blend under eye concealer. Perfect. And one of the reasons why I think Fenty Beauty is so successful is because I think Rihanna actually really really involved in the brand. Like this you can't fake it. Like the way she speaks about her products, you can tell how much she knows, she understands her products. To the point where you think no one else in, on the earth knows more than she does. Which makes me really enjoy it. Yay, done! Usually I love to use this concealer for my under eye because it doesn't crease and it's really really hydrating. Crease proof. And sometimes when I have a little spot on my, you see my neck here, a little pimple, I usually like to use the matchstick. And then my next little secret, it's the matchsticks, which are these magnetic uh, products. They comes in uh, concealer colors, they comes in a, a shading color, they comes in a contour colors, they come in blush, they come in highlight, they comes in all different kinds of shades. Look at this, like a, well, I don't put it like all like So it's great when you put it in your makeup bag because it doesn't, you know, move around It just sticks together, which is perfect So for my spots, I like to use this bamboo color I usually like to warm up on my hand Like this I'm gonna use the finger to tap it And just put it on Like this Gone Super convenient I'm gonna show you how a little fan I am Okay, wait so for your information, everything I use today, I purchased it myself, okay? Even though Fenty Beauty has recently launched it in Hong Kong, they did actually gave me some products, but literally like 98% of the product and I've been using it for a long time now. So this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. This was a limited edition on Sephora like a year ago, I don't remember, like quite a while ago. These are mini size of the matchsticks. Look at, these are the big ones, these are the small ones. It's so cute, right? It's super cute. But the only thing is these doesn't have the magnetic, it doesn't stick together. Unlike the big ones, like... But anyways, it's my collective items. Just to show it to the camera, you know, so that you guys could be like, Oh, I want one. All right, back, what's next? So the next will be the brow pencil, which is 168 Hong Kong dollars. And it comes in, I think, eight different colors. It was unpleasant. And I feel like um, Fenty Beauty is a very inclusive brand. Even though I'm Asian, I feel like Asian is a big part of the brand. I think that's really, really important. And I feel very, you know, secure about it. And the next is the Moroccan Spice Palette, which is the only, 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 only eyeshadow palette that is available right now. If you're a fan, you would know that there were different palettes before. But this is the only one that is still on sale right now. And this is $498. Look at it. Look at the possibility of this palette. So I'll be using... And this shade right here, this shade, it's called coming. It's called Come and Get It. This shade, I swear to God, it's one of my favorite, 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 like base, creased, whatever color, which I love. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love. I usually just put it all over my lid, like just really casually. Just buffing it all in. 
Oh, the only products that I have never tried from Fenty Beauty, it's the eye primer. I've never tried it before. Anyway, you know sometimes luxury beauty brands are very distant, but I feel like Fenty Beauty, it's a, well, I would call it a luxury beauty brand, right? It's, it's luxury, yeah, it's luxury. But then, it's not distance at all. Like, you feel really, really connected to the brand. That's what I feel like. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this is the blending brush. Okay, the next is the fly liner. Fly liner. So this is a very, like a very solid black eyeliner. But there's a little thing I need to tell you about this eyeliner. This eyeliner has a little bit of shiny finishing. It's not like a matte black. It's like a shiny black. But like a little, little, little bit of shiny. Not a lot, just a little, little bit. Which is very, very unique because I don't see a lot of eyeliner that has this type of... You probably can't tell, so I'll show you on my hand. Subscribe. Oh, spelling mistakes. Oh, it doesn't matter. See, you see there's like a little tiny shine. You see that little bit? That right here makes Flyliner different to other products. The Flyliner, it's 168 Hong Kong dollars. Oh, I also forgot to mention, it's waterproof. All right, next is the face, which I have mentioned earlier, it's the matchsticks, woohoo! Okay, back to the matchstick. First, I'm going to contour my face, and for contouring, I usually use two colors. One is called amber, one is called mocha. Mocha, mocha. Yeah, something like that, okay. But I personally prefer amber more, but when people see amber, they get scared because it looks quite gray compared to like mocha. You see, mocha is more brown and amber is more gray. But then, amber actually looks really good when you apply it to your skin, which I'm going to show you. And here's my little trick, because you don't want the products to move the foundation and the concealer you have applied on your face. So that's why I would suggest you to actually warm the products on your hand first. Put it on your hand and then apply it to your face. And that way there's a less chance the products will move your foundations and concealer and everything. Excuse me, I'm going to use the foundation brush again. So dab the product. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. See, it's a little gray, but it matches my skin. And it's really nice. And it's really creamy. And it's so easy to blend. Because there's no mirror in the front. I'm just looking at the monitor right now. Da 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 da. Kiss it, kiss it, fur baby. Ooh! Da 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 da. It's very, very natural. It's a little bit. Do you like my shading? Do you like my contour? How are you liking it? I'm going to apply a little bit on my jawline as well. I just love contouring. It brings me back to life. And then what I usually do is I put a bronzer on top of my contour, which I'll be using this. Woohoo! This is the Sun Stalker Bronzer, which is $258 on uh, Sephora. I was super, 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 super excited when Fenty Beauty launched it in Hong Kong. Because I always, you know, just order online or get it when I'm overseas, but I'm so happy it's finally in Hong Kong. It's not only in Sephora, it's also in Harvey Nichols. And one more place, which I forgot. Oh, DFS. DFS, yeah. So three different locations you can find Fenty Beauty if you're from Hong Kong. But if you live from the other part of the world, like in London, you can find it not only in Harvey Nichols, but also I heard recently it's in Boots as well. And in the States, well, everywhere. Every Sephora. There's like Sephora everywhere. I'm sure it's very, very easy to find it. You know, just to give myself a little, you know, energy. I don't know. It feels like energy. Usually I put the bronzer like all over my face, you know, like all over. Because I feel like bronzer gives me energy. Like. Ooh. And this bronzer mixed together with the foundation. Can't you tell it's a perfect combination? Okay. Alright. So next. So what's next? I'll tell you one more little secret of these match sticks. Is that I like to use amber and mocha for my nose contour as well. But I'm not feeling a nose contour today, so yeah, but not today. Back. And then I'm going to add myself a little blush. And no matter what shade you pick, every single matchstick is 212 Hong Kong dollars in Sephora. 
So even you choose the contour, the blush, the highlight, any 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 colors, 200 color color. And the blush, I'll be using this, which I always put it in my bag because it gives me a little flush on the face. So same technique, you can warm it up on your skin, put it on your hand, it warms up the product like this. And then I just use finger to dab it. Just put it on. Put it on my apple cheek. Apple cheek. See, 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 you see the side and the side, see the difference? I feel like I'm more like a shy boy on this side. This side is more like cool, like more manly. And then same to this side, just a little bit, you know, a little bit, little bit. I usually like to put a little bit on the tip of my nose as well. It gives a little sunburnt type of effect, which I love. I love, love, love. Oh. And the next is also my secret weapon, which is the kilowatts. Kilowatts. And they are $308 and they come in very very different uh, colors and color combinations. Just like this one, it comes in a combo like two colors. But I really really like this one. It's called Water Brat and it's a pink color. It's like a really natural looking pink color. Even though this is the highlight brush, but I usually put it on my for blush as well. And I apply it on top of the blush that I just put it on. See that? You 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 see that? Oh my god, you see that? Just apply a little bit and it matters. It just matters. Oh my god, I really enjoy my makeup today. Look at it. Like this, applied together with the Reddick, it's like one of the best combination as well. Do I even need highlights? Usually, no, I stop here probably. But today it's a Fenty day for me, so I will be using the highlight as well. So what should I use for highlight today? Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. What am I feeling today, you know? Makeup, it's about having fun. So, what do I feel today? Should I use a diamond bomb or something very, very special? I'm sure a lot of you haven't seen this before. This was one of the limited edition from Fenty Beauty, which you can't get it anymore. And look at it. These are all kilowatts highlights. Look at it. Look at it. Because this is a very collective items that I don't normally use. I like to keep it like be very neat, you know. But because today is a very special day, I think it's time for this palette to shine. And if you're thinking of getting a highlight brush, I strongly, 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 super, super, super recommend you getting this cheek hugging highlight brush, which is 348 Hong Kong dollars. But this is one of the best highlight brush I've ever used. My favorite highlight brush, okay, I'm gonna mention other brands as well, okay? So these three are my favorite, 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 favorite highlight brush. These two are from ColourPop. This is like a fan brush. This is a very dense, but in a smaller angle type of highlight brush. And this is super, super special. I'll tell you why. First is because this brush is perfect for your cheek. Um, the middle one, you know, with the Fenty logo, FB logo. I've never tried this shade before, but I have so much confidence in their product, so here we go. I want you to be the first to see it. And it actually blends together with my blush as well, like really beautifully. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wow, it blends together with my blush, really nice. Wow, look at it! Whoa! I'm so excited, sorry, I'm so excited. You know, I really love playing with makeup, seriously, honestly. So this blush is perfect for you to like going back and forth, back and forth. And it makes the products really evenly because the brush is specially designed for highlight. So when you do this back and forth uh, movement, it evens out the product and gives you a beautiful highlight. Hey, hello. It matches my blush so badly. Like, wow, wow. I can't think of another word of saying it. Wow. Holy God, oh my God. Sometimes it's about you having fun while you're putting on makeup. Like I am having a lot of fun today. So after I've done the highlight contour blush, I like to put a little bit of powder. And this powder is $268. Let me tell you a secret that even though if you have purchased this powder, but you might not have known. When you purchase this powder right here, when you open it, you normally just take the product out and throw it in a box, right? Usually that's what you do, right? But then, actually there's little secrets inside the box. You see that? You see the right there? Inside the box, there is a little secret. What's this? You know what this is? This is super, super, super duper freaker important. 
This is a stopper for the powder. So after you use it, you don't want the powder to fly around. You just put it on and the powder just doesn't come off. You see? See? Isn't that amazing? But I'm sure for some people, even though you have purchased the product, you don't know the secret, don't you? You have accidentally thrown away the boxes, didn't you? Okay, so back to the sponge right here. You see the sponge has this angle right here, right? It's like a cut-off sponge. There's a reason for it because this angle is perfect for putting powder on. And I usually like to put powder on like my eye because it doesn't crease my eye. Also, I like to put it on my forehead so it takes off the shine and it can focus on my highlight and my blush. You see? Whoa! And this is the shade Lavender, which I love because it actually brightens up my under eye as well. Before I purchased the products, I was really worried that if I use the products on my under eye, it will crease and it looks weird because I've seen Jeffree Star's review, but it actually looks really good on my skin. Like, it's almost like a very natural under eye highlight. You see that? So yeah, different products applies differently on different people. And then here comes the final step, which is my lips. Fenty Beauty launches products like really frequently, like almost two or three weeks, they always have a new product or an extended range, you know, extended color range. And I always just looking on Instagram, like on Trent Mood's Instagram or Fenty Beauty's Instagram, waiting for their announcement of the new launch, you know, every launch got me so excited. And I always purchase their products on the day, like the day it released it. Sometimes I would even set alarms, I'm not gonna lie to you, so. So for the lip products today, I will be using the Stuna. I used to pronounce it like Stuna, but is it Stuna or Stuna? Anyway, the Stuna lip paint. And also the Glass Bomb in Diamond Milk. Diamond Milk. Their lip products are freaking amazing. Like this one, I'm telling you, if you're looking for a lip product that is really, really pigmented and it stays on your lips like for a long, long, long time, Stuna lip paint, it's a very, very good. These are seriously all my honest opinion, okay? Not biased at all. You see the wand is very different to other lip products. It's not like a long, very tippy kind of lip wand. It's, this is more rounded. And I've seen like Rihanna's uh, tutorial and she says she loves to apply it right here. Like to start off with like, always draw a heart shape here. And it's perfect to draw that. See that is really easy to draw the, the highest point of your lips. And only in one small dip of the product, it can fill all my lips already. Can you imagine yourself putting this lip paint on? It's gorgeous. Like this lip paint, you really have to go test it out yourself to know like how good it is. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. This doesn't look like a very ordinary lipstick, I know, but you just really have to go to the shops and try it on yourself. Then you understand what I'm saying. All right guys, I am pretty much done with my makeup today and I'm feeling very happy about my makeup. Very, very happy. So that I'm very, very happy that Fenty Beauty has launched it in Hong Kong. And if you like my video, please subscribe to my channels because every Tuesday and Thursday at 9 p.m. I'll be uploading new videos. And please also give a thumbs up on this video and you can comment below, say whatever you like, tell me your favorite Fenty Beauty products or how much you love Rihanna like I do. I will see you in my next videos. Bye bye. Song, yi, yep, action. Ah, ta da. Oh shit. The next, this, this is the Moroccan spice palette. Yeah, 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 yeah.